Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can change that mobile menu icon, the folder arrow, the arrow that points to the right to open a folder or points to the left to go back to your main navigation to something completely different in your Squarespace website. We're gonna change the color, the size, and the actual content. Now, before we dig into this code, a really important thing to note, this tutorial is specific for Brine theme templates built in version seven of Squarespace. If you're using the latest version known as 7.1, I have a completely different tutorial for you. A link is in the description below. But if you're in a Brine theme website, you're in the right place. Now I'm gonna walk you through these codes so you're gonna understand exactly what you wanna change to make it look amazing on your own website. Let's hop into my demo site and get started here. So here we have the two main codes. This first one is for the arrow that will open up the folder. And the second one is for the arrow afterwards. Let me show you what I mean here. We'll hop on into the mobile version of our site. I'm going to click this menu to open it and you'll see I've got the two little arrows there that'll open the folder. And then up there at the very top where it says back, those are other options. So we're gonna leave that menu open and we're gonna to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. That's where we're gonna paste these codes that are listed in the description beneath the video. So I'm gonna paste this code and you know what? We're just gonna work with this first one. This is the first arrow that's pointing to the right. I can open up a curly bracket and say color purple if I want that arrow to be purple. And I can change the size of it by saying font size to REM. And now that's gonna change the font size for that particular arrow. Now it's color and font size because that symbol is actually just a Unicode character. So we can replace it with anything we want. I have a whole list of Unicode characters on my website over here at insidethesquare.co forward slash Unicode. If you scroll down here, tons of different arrows that you can use and squares. These are symbols that I've tested on a few different devices to make sure that they're visible. So uh, definitely explore this for some fun creative ideas. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this arrow right here. We'll hop back into our CSS. I'm gonna add a semicolon and say content and then open up some quotation marks and place that symbol. Check it out. I just pointed at my screen there. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, we just changed the two arrows to the single Unicode character. Awesome, right? You can actually make it say anything you want it to say. Obviously, that's a lot of text, pushes it to a second line. It's gonna be way too much. So I'm just gonna leave it as that arrow and I'll go ahead and remove that font size we edited as well. So it goes back down to the normal size there for us. All right, now I want you to notice what we've said is mobile overlay nav item folder after. Complicated computer speak for just this arrow. If we click into the folder, you'll notice, oh, I forgot, I have to navigate out of CSS here. There we go. If you click into the folder, you'll notice our back option still has that original character. That's because it's a completely different code. I'm gonna press the close button here so we can navigate down and grab this text. This is going to change those back arrows for us. So I'm just gonna press Control C there. We'll open up our menu so we can see it hop into design and scroll back into custom CSS. So again, I'm pasting this code. We can change the color. Uh, let's say we want this one to be green. You can see it's green, but it's kind of tiny to see. So I'm also gonna say font size to REM, except I'm gonna spell size correctly. There we go. So now we have those two green arrows. Well, let's say we wanna use a different Unicode character. We wanna use this back arrow right here. I'm gonna press control C and I'm gonna add a semicolon back in my code. I'll say content, this arrow, and check it out, now it's changed. So again, this part right here where it says mobile overlay folder item toggle before, that is for that back arrow. The first code that we used was mobile overlay nav item folder after, that's for the first arrow. But good news, you don't have to memorize it. I put those codes in the description beneath this video for you. So just make sure you use color to change the color font size to change the font size, and whatever is between those quotation marks after content is what's going to display instead of the original arrows that are on your Squarespace site right now. Alrighty, that's it for this quick tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.